The golden age of retro gaming is finally here. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. And yeah, you can actually play retro games on your Apple iPhone. Officially. Legally. As much as Nintendo Ninjas might want you to think otherwise, everything with this is completely above board. And there are no issues that you need to worry about. At least, not right now. But for those of you who are on the fence... I'd recommend downloading this before it gets taken off the App Store, just in case. In this video, I'm going to walk you guys through step-by-step step on how to download this emulator and play these games, get them on your phone without much of an issue. I did it myself, walked myself through it, and to be honest, it's not that hard. And this is going to piss off Nintendo, big time. Hit that subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full article breaking down this step-by-step -step process. This is going to be the video version of that, and I'm also going to show on the side of me what I did when I downloaded this app and the steps that I took with it. Now, first of all, the app is called Delta on the iOS App Store. Make sure you download the right one, not the airline. We're talking about the app called Delta, and it looks like that. After you've downloaded this app, it's going to show up on your phone and you can open it up and there'll be nothing there. I tried it briefly before putting this video together and yeah, it worked very nicely, seamlessly. I didn't play an exhaustive list of games, but I played enough to figure out, yeah, it works and I like it. And it's definitely sufficient enough to pass the time. And you definitely can't beat the price. After you've downloaded the app and you open it up and you see the plus sign, the addition on the top right of the screen, you click that and it'll open up the files on your phone. And yeah, you probably don't have any ROMs just sitting on your phone, but this is where you're going to go to to add them in to play them. And I'm not going to be able to tell you guys like the sites on where you can download these games from online or get these ROMs from, but they're plentiful and Google is your best friend. It really wasn't that hard for me to find a random site, and download it, and yeah, it works just fine. After you've downloaded the games, they will typically come in a .zip file, which don't work in conjunction with this emulator, but you're in luck because they already thought of that. You can click on it after you've downloaded it, and it pops open and unzips it into the file format that you need to be able to play it, and you click on that, and it should load right up. And that's really it. That's all there is to it. The Delta emulator organizes the games by their system type, making it easier for you to find and play your favorite games after you've downloaded them. You can put them into the folders. And the interface allows for intuitive navigation and browsing through different sections with simple swipes around it. And you can also connect a Bluetooth controller with your game if you don't want to be able to play the touchscreen controls. And I know a lot of retro enthusiasts aren't a big fan of the retro buttons that aren't actually buttons. And while not necessarily a huge deal on NES games or even Super Nintendo games, the Nintendo 64 emulator is a mess when it comes to the controller. And I would say the controller alone renders the majority of the games unplayable on screen. So yeah, you're going to need to have a Bluetooth controller, especially for the N64 titles. But they still play. They play perfectly fine. The graphics are okay enough, and there's not too many hiccups or issues while playing them. So it's really just going to be the controller interface in this situation that you're going to want to make sure you get one of those controllers that works with this. Any kind of Bluetooth controller that connects to your phone should work in conjunction with this emulator. As far as the retro themed games go, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Genesis, that works well enough. It does have the vibrations of every time you press a different direction or a different button. It does give you a tiny little subtle vibration to let you know what you're pressing. And yeah, it's not a controller, but for being in a pinch, if you're on a subway or on a bus and you just want to pass the time with the game, it works well enough. As long as there's not too much action on screen, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Currently, it looks like it's only limited to Nintendo ROMs and Nintendo emulators. I couldn't get any Genesis ones to work, even though on their help section online, it says it does support Genesis. So maybe that will be coming sometime down the road. As far as what this has the capability to do, not only can you play the games or you can fast forward them, but you can also use save states, load the save states, 
even add cheat codes in as well. It's pretty versatile as far as a basic emulator goes. They could do a lot worse, and I'm actually pretty impressed with this initial offering from these guys. This is going to set a new benchmark and precedent for emulation on phones. This being as easy and simplistic as an interface and how easy it works functioning. If I were Nintendo, I'd be worried, I'd be pissed, I'd be a whole lot of things because there's not very much they can do to stop this. As far as emulation is concerned, you are legally allowed to dump your own game and play it. And as far as Nintendo is concerned, they're not going to be bashing your doors down to find out what games you've dumped and which ones you haven't. But assuming you do it on the up and up and you're only playing the games that you rightfully own, there is quite a bit of gray area when it comes to emulation, so you don't really have too much to worry about. Which is probably explaining why Nintendo was just so aggressive against all those ROM sites and emulators leading up to this moment. Again, if you're on the fence, download this as fast as possible and hopefully you'll have it if it does get taken off the App Store. It doesn't get just deleted from your phone. I don't know though, with technology the way it is, maybe Apple can just remove it if Nintendo forces them to, but let's not worry about that right now. This works great and it's super easy to do. And again, if you're not really sure of the steps or if you're having any issues with it, check out smashjt.com. I have them all written down step-by-step step for you guys. And yeah, it was simple to do. It took me maybe three minutes, four minutes max to download the app, find a game, download the game and play it on the emulator, it was really quick. And there's so many different games you can play. NES, Super Nintendo, like I said, DS, tons of different systems available already. And this looks like it could potentially blow the doors off the retro emulation gaming market now that they are legally allowed on the Apple App Store. I only wonder what Nintendo's going to do about this. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you guys think about downloading and playing these ROMs on the Delta app if you're planning on doing it or if you'd rather play them a different way. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing.